What an absolutely crazy game. Joseph showed that to me last summer when I was in Stockholm. And I'm like, we have to show this off. There's so much gameplay there. Thank you for that, Joseph. All right, now I'd like to welcome a longtime friend and supporter of the Game Awards. He was there in Vegas for our very first show back in 2014, and he's been back every year really? since. We weren't going to let the streak stop this year. The retired president and COO from Nintendo of America, but still a boss, Reggie Fizeme. Reggie! Jeff, Jeff, how you doing? I'm doing good, Reggie. Take it away. Absolutely. You know, I'm proud to present the very first award for innovation in accessibility. During my time at Nintendo, we had a mantra, gaming for the masses. And we pushed that agenda with Wii, Nintendo DS, mm -hmm. and now Nintendo Switch. But today, approximately 1 billion people around the world experience some form of disability that makes gaming challenging for them. Yep. This award was created to highlight the efforts throughout the gaming industry yeah, he has to a make goose. software and hardware that enables games to be played and enjoyed by the widest and most inclusive audience possible. Because gaming is for everyone. Here are the nominees. Innovation in accessibility. I mean, it has to go to, to The Last of Us, right? That's really cool, though. That's amazing. And the award goes to The Last of Us Part Two. Nice. Hello, uh, I'm Matthew Gellant, and this is my fellow designer and neighbor, Emilia Schatz. And from everyone at Naughty Dog, we would like to thank you so much for honoring us with this year's Innovation and Accessibility Award. That's thank it. you as well to the Game Awards for choosing to add this category, and to all the other developers who have designed and advocated for accessibility in our games. We hope that together we can continue the momentum to push our industry forward. Yep. As developers, we know how one small design decision can unlock the entire game for a player. Games are special for their ability to blur the line between player and character, providing a means for personal engagement with narrative that is unrivaled in other artistic mediums. Yep. It's up to us to ensure that everyone can experience that for themselves. We'd like to thank our terrific group of accessibility consultants, and we absolutely could not have done it without your, your insight and your your uh, detailed feedback. Thank you. We'd also like Very to cool. thank our partners at Worldwide Studios, um, our senior producer, Sam Thompson, the user experience research team, and our dedicated accessibility QA testers. Mm -hmm. And we'd also like to thank everybody at Naughty Dog. Uh, this was truly a team effort, and every department had a part to play in removing barriers for players with disabilities. <sighs> Lastly, we'd like to thank you, the players, Nothing makes us prouder than hearing stories from players who were able to experience The Last of Us Part II without assistance, using our accessibility features to remove barriers that would have otherwise excluded them. From both of us, thank you so much. Thank you. Nice, very nice. Congratulations to Naughty Dog, such an important category, and I'm proud that we're able to recognize innovation and accessibility here at the Game Awards. We're gonna do that every year moving forward. This next world premiere gives us our first glimpse at next year's big adventure for the Elder Scrolls Online. Enjoy. I don't care. I mean, I'll enjoy the trailer, but, but I don't care. I'm never gonna play this game. Even if, if even if it goes completely free, I'm not gonna play it. What? What, what symbol is that? Is that the symbol for Oblivion? It is, right? Yeah, it is.
that's not normal. What? Gates of Oblivion. Oh, cool. From imposters in Among Us to the visual beauty of Genshin Impact, mobile gaming has had an incredible year. Coming up, I'll be revealing the winner of Best Mobile Game presented by LG Wing, the world's first 5G swivel smartphone. We still haven't seen like, like, like... And later, the first look at a brand uh, new uh, map from Among Us. The Game Awards a brand will new be map. right back. Nice. We're, we're kind of missing something. The line between light and dark is so very thin. Like a showstopper. Let's cross it together. Are, are they waiting for the for the end? Fate comes knocking sooner or later. With this power, we make our own fate. Uh huh. Cool. that voice can't can't place the actor right now but I know I know exactly what he looks like Popular opinion. Um, Star Wars do doesn't need legacy characters. I mean, Boba Fett is sort of an exception because he was barely a character in the, in the original. But um, like characters from the movies, I don't need Yoda. I don't need Skywalkers. I'm fine. Still haven't, still haven't played this. Go now. Oh, that's such a cool way to do do the trailer. Tonight, go to wdblack.com to get one of the fastest internal SSDs on the market, the SN850 NVMe SSD with heatsink. Nice. That's an SSD? Jesus. at Pokemon Go that there is another surge of Wooper appearing, so we're implementing another Wooper watch. Bring cool. out your phones and get to catching. And if you haven't heard, Pokemon Go recently implemented its Go Beyond update, which introduces quarterly seasons, raises the level cap to 50, and makes earning XP easier for everyone. Pokemon Phew. are originally discovered in the Kalos region, like Chespin, Fennekin, and Froakie are also making their Pokemon Go debut. There's also a lot of bonuses happening now, and it's never been a better time to play Pokemon Go. Is it? How do you play Pokemon Go now? 
They've always known you would come. Oh, cool. Do you know why you have secrets, lies, dangerous things? If you are to face what's coming, you must find your full voice. Your full voice, okay. Still don't care about it. To present our next award, she's a host and producer from IGN and your host for the Game Awards pre-show. This Goodman. is Sydney Goodman. Mobile games were once defined by their limitations. In a way, we celebrated the games that excelled despite their platform. As technology has closed the gap, releasing on phones is no longer li a limitation. It's an asset. It's yep. never been more True. apparent than tonight. Where the I nominees don't care for about best it, mobile game have cool. found massive audiences because of their platform. Here they are. Best mobile game presented by LG Wing and Qualcomm Snapdragon. Best mobile game. Okay. I may have voted for Among Us here. The only mobile game I've I've played and it was just it was just it, it was one day and by one day I mean I a couple hours. And the game award goes to Among Us. Holy shit. <laughs> and everyone who voted for us. <laughs> um, and congrats again to all the other games that were nominated. Um, we originally designed our game Among Us to be played on mobile devices. So if you found yourself with a group of friends, um, you could easily set up a game. We wanted our game to be accessible at any level of gamer and wanted to create a fun experience to be shared amongst friends and family and whoever. Uh, we want to thank our players first and foremost. Among Us would not be where it is today without you. Um, whether you played Among Us when it was mobile, local only, or played for the first time just yesterday, thank you from the four of us. <laughs> um, again, big thank you to Robot Teddy, Dual Studio. Studios. Jeez, they have a Jeff, Jeff Kelly in the background. All of this. Um, Red thank you to our moderators and the fans who have been on this journey with us for the past two years. And a big thank you again to our friends and family. We love you and miss you. And thank you for being so supportive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. Congratulations to Among Us, second win of the night. Next up, the Monster Hunter franchise is coming to Nintendo Switch in 2021. This is a new look at Monster Hunter Rise. Again, we're missing the showstoppers. I think it's because of the generation thing, the console generation thing. A huge Most pack of good games in a giant aren't stampede. quite ready yet. They attack the village in a frenzied rage. Nobody knows why this if, happens, if, but it came close to wiping if, out. If they show God of War, I'm gonna shit my pants. Hopefully, not really, not literally. Aren't you a pretty one? What are, what are those things tethering to? We've all been training for this moment for our entire lives. We need you to protect Kamura Village. Ladies.
All right, over on Twitch, the next poll is for Content Creator of the Year. Vote now for who you think is going to win, and we'll find out in a little bit who wins that category. But next up, he's one of our industry's great performers, and he plays Joel in The Last of Us. Here, Troy Baker. Troy Baker. Oh, he's actually there. One day on the set of The Last of Us Part One, Neil, our writer and director, asked me and Ashley what we would have been if we weren't actors. I thought about it for a second and replied that he would have been I always imagined I would have been a singer. Ashley just shrugged and in her charming and offhanded way said, I would have been an astronaut. Neil incorporated parts of us into Ellie and Joel. Space and music became major elements of their stories, creating nice. touching moments between them. One of those moments, now indelible in our memories, incorporated Neil's story as well. Not as a writer, but as a father. It involved a song he would play and sing to his daughter every night. That song was Pearl Jam's Future Days. One day, Neil asked if I was comfortable playing it in a scene he was writing for The Last of Us Part Two. Holy shit. Now, I don't generally get nervous, but I understood what that song meant to Neil and to the game. And the truth is, Neil can play that song better than me. But nobody can play it better than the person that wrote it. From Seattle, performing Future Days, here's Eddie Vedder. Oh, a very good moment. Holy shit. All right, so that was the song Future Days, and um, that, that song you might recognize from, from The Last of Us, and... Um, I really appreciate the way that was that was used, um, especially bringing Joel and Ellie together, uh, connecting through music, and I and I thought maybe it was cool too that it made you want to perhaps pick up a guitar yourself yeah. and 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 write a song for your loved one. Um, but uh, it is nice to be part of this. Uh, show my appreciation and be part of this year game awards and um what a fascinating way to tell a story it's just getting better and better all the time and um it was cool to be part of it so uh thanks for having me and enjoy the rest of the show it's really great it's great doesn't get better than that thank you so much eddie vetter for being here on the game awards all right now here's another brand new game to show you for the first time please Something good. You can run. What? For a long time. Soon or later, they'll punch you down. And this is this is not the no, this is not the weird west. What the hell? This, this is like Van Helsing. Is it Van Helsing? Is it Van Helsing? This looks like Van Helsing. This has Van Helsing vibes though. Evil West, okay. Yeah, there, there's no game places, so there's no game. There you go, Evil West. All right, on Twitch, we asked you to predict Dude. the winners in Content Creator of the Year, and the Twitch audience uh, said Valkyrie with 44% uh, of the vote. They think cool. is going to win. So the award she for is on the content rise. creator of the year is coming up next. Presented by Adobe and artist Boss Logic used Adobe Creative Cloud really to create tributes to the, the nominees. The, the You'll see those in a thing. minute. And we've also got announcements from Among Us and Fortnite. What if, what if right it's wrong? Now, Scarlet Nexus is an upcoming action JRPG oh from Bandai my. Namco. Here's a look at the brand new trailer. So no Elden Ring, no God of War, no Final Fantasy. 
virtual brain link cable will now be connected. This will hurt much more than it did in training. Be okay. strong. Beginning SAS cable connection. Good. Seems like you're okay. Are they? Cool. Connect your minds and become one. Use the red strings to save the world. Oh, the red strings. Okay, we're doing that then. No, it's the Japanese thing of the red strings of fate. Don't cool. underestimate me. Kind of overplayed. Don't bother resisting. I will obtain the red strings. I wouldn't let that happen. This does not seem interesting to me. Focus. Cool. Play it on the all new Xbox. Yay. For me, I am often depressed when I look at the status of where we are in terms of depression and anxiety and inattention. We owe it to all the people that are suffering to be really creative and to try things that when you first hear it sound crazy, like a video game is medicine. My name is Adam Ghazali. I am a neuroscientist and a neurologist. Mm -hmm. It started for me 12 years ago. I became really interested in this idea of creating experiences as a way of improving brain function. And this relies uh -huh. on a principle called neuroplasticity. The fact that our brain reshapes itself and modifies itself in response to challenges. And so that's how it all started for me, to create a video game that was carefully designed to challenge and reward the brain in a very specific way. Okay. And so what just happened a couple of months ago, the FDA cleared Endeavor RX as a medical device to treat inattention in children that have ADHD. This is the first time ever that the FDA has cleared a video game for any medical condition. So what we're talking about right now is to have a video game prescribed, just like we prescribe pills for conditions, and think about sure. this as a new type of medicine. Better be free though. No ads also. The world is a dangerous place. Oh boy. Only the best can keep it safe. Become a tier one operative. Plan. Position. And execute. Do whatever it takes to neutralize the threat. Join the elite. Bring the thunder. Thunder tier one. As gamers, you are just generally better humans, and the world <laughs> needs you. What the fuck are you Came talking about? Geek Humanity Procreation Facility. Gamers from around the globe are donating their superior DNA. I'm donating. I'm donating. I have powerful swim swims, and they can be yours. Oh, this is really funny. Transcend humanity through gaming. That's really funny. Okay, it's long enough. Maybe announce another Star Wars thing. Maybe, I don't know. Do something. It's six tricky, maybe. Why do you put Dragon Age and Mass Effect there? 
there literally hasn't been a new game in like what since like what, what was the last Welcome Dragon back. Age? And as you just saw, EA Play is available now on new consoles, Steam, Cue. and Origin, and includes Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, one of our nominees tonight, and a great game. All right, now on to one of the biggest games this year. It was created by three developers in Seattle. Now four, you saw them. They've won two awards tonight. Intersloth, they absolutely took over the internet with Among Us. Well, they sent us something special. This is the reveal of the brand new map for Among Us. Check it out, crewmates. Which no, nobody will play, and it's not their fault. The developer's fault, I mean. What would be the new map? Okay. Welcome, recruit. Get yourself acquainted with the layout of the top at airship. Enough slacking. Go do your tasks. What are you doing? You may need to take a ladder to get to certain areas. Or maybe oh, just take a nice shortcut. Cool. Quit grouping up. Choose a room to start in after a meeting. Oh, Someone shit. Someone keeps trying to sabotage us. Stop their plan. Keep your eyes peeled. We definitely have an imposter here. Oh boy. <laughs> nice. All right, the Among Us team has another surprise. They've turned my face into a mask and that drops right now on twitch for the next 30 minutes that's are you right. serious the jeff Keeley mask have fun don't be sus they they came to me and said all right we can do this one my request anyways uh i'm on my jeff Keeley match now available all right he's a hilarious content creator with over 25 million subs and over 13 billion views he's joining us now live from the uk jack septicai hello jack what's up Hello, Jeff. How's it going? Hello, everyone at the Game Awards. In a year when what so many of us boy. were separated from our family and friends, one thing remained the same. Our favorite content creators were still there for us. Their streaming, gaming, and sharing helped us fill the hours and feel connected, unifying us all with our shared passion for play. Here are the nominees for Content Creator of the Year. Content Creator of the Year, presented by Adobe. <laughs> <laughs> Are you proud of me, Dad? What a, who is this man in my face? That's you, that's you, baby. Guys, it's helping. I'm down. Outside, outside. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold up, hold up. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Put my crown on! Put my crown on! Yes, I did! Bad piggy, bad! Uh -huh. Look out, look out! Look out, look out! Look out, look out! Okay, I'm looking down. Was it? Wasn't that, wasn't that Lily? And the game award goes to Valkyrie. Congratulations. Thank you so much to uh, the game awards for nominating me and to all of Did my you friends and family nice chair. and fans and my loving community for being so supportive of me uh, the past seven or so years of streaming. And now to, uh, being creator of the year that's crazy because there's just so many amazing creators i can't believe i don't know it's just unbelievable anyways thank you so much for the support i am very flattered and honored to accept this award um and yeah oh she's gonna she's gonna get shit from people adobe salute no, in a good way her friends we're gonna, the game awards. gonna make fun of her creators around the world tonight celebrate your creativity by downloading a free trial of adobe creative cloud at tgaxadobe.com about no get creating joining me right now is the chief creative officer of epic games donald mustard uh donald it is great Yay. to have you on the show it's a yearly tradition new Fortnite season what can you tell us Oh man, so awesome to be here. So awesome to see you. This is amazing, Jeff. You did this yet again. Uh, uh, so yeah, I was so excited right now. Uh, new season has started. We just all battled Galactus together with our favorite Marvel heroes, and 
And what that's done is it's left the Fortnite zero point exposed and Agent Jones is looking for all these hunters throughout all these different realities that can uh -huh. uh, help him stop anyone from escaping from sure. Fortnite. And uh, we've already seen several characters come in and we have one more that he's bringing in right now. So it's not Kratos because that's been announced. Is it Master Chief? Is it Kratos? No, it's Master Chief, yeah. Yep. I don't know what I said. Did I say Master Chief at, a, at some point or did I say something else? Master Chief comes to Fortnite. You're getting them all, Donald. Isn't that crazy? I, Master Chief is just one of my most favorite characters ever in anything, and I'm just. We're can, so can they can they all play with each other though? Join the ever growing cast of characters in in Fortnite. Uh, and the coolest thing is he's going to be available tonight uh, in Fortnite. You can go and and get Master Chief. And I know there's Pretty some cool. some more Halo coming as well. I heard. Yeah, so I think uh, you know we didn't want to just stop right there, and so mm. there's something else I think we should uh, we should check out. Well, hello, sir. It's an honor. Is that is that hey, red, Sarge, red, did you hear? red versus blue? Uh, I guess you already got the news. What oh, news? it is. Master Chief Ramsey. is coming to Fortnite. Well, Fort what now? It's only one of the most popular video games in the hey, world, Jeff. but more obviously, it's where we are right now. Huh. What? Wait a minute. If you had no idea that we're in Fortnite, then why do you have a cardboard cut out of Master Chief? Perfectly regular reasons. Whoa. You guys new around here? No! The Chief got eliminated by a sneaky blue! That's no blue! That's... that's Ninja! It's such an honor. I I'm a huge fan of yours on Twitch. Twitch? Is he twitching because he's blue? Stop making us look bad in front of Ninja! We're Sergeant Griff from the popular web series Red vs. Blue. You probably watched it about 10 years ago. What are you doing here? Well, it's more than just the Chief coming to Fortnite. This map is too. It'll be in creative mode starting at 10 a.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. Oh, boy. oh, so that's what we're doing in Ragnarok. You mean Basin. I'm pretty sure it was called something else. Either way, you can start reliving your favorite Halo memories here in Fortnite. Cool. And maybe add your own personal touches to the map. Hey, wait. Does fuck that mean fuck you Ninja. Come on, Ninja. What do you say? Eh, save it for New Year's. Cool. Red versus blue, Donald. Yeah, isn't that so awesome? And so funny. Um, so what's awesome about that is that uh, Blood Gulch was recreated in Fortnite Creative by this awesome creative team that called themselves Atlas Creative. And... Tomorrow That's at really 10 cool. a.m. Eastern, you'll be able to go into Fortnite and you can play Capture the Flag in a recreated version of Blood Gulch. Oh my God! It's e gonna be fun. Everything is in Fortnite right now. So, you, are, are you done for the season? You know, I mean, Agent Jones is uh, is actually just kind of getting warmed up. So, uh, I think there's actually one more thing that we should show you. What? Just just do Samus. Huh? What? Really? Walking Dead? Michonne and uh, the other guy? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Again, Donald. I have no idea where I don't, we're going next, but I'm I don't care board. about this game. Thanks, Jeff. All right, uh, Donald Mustard from Epic Games. All right, come up in a moment. Keanu Reeves is going to present the award for best game direction. We've still got a few more surprises. Don't go anywhere. Right now, let's hear from Rocket League on their new season. Rocket League still going? Hey, what's up? This is Cascade, and I am stoked to be welcomed into the Rocket League's vibrant community in such a big way. I'm excited to work with Cyanix and Monster Cat to put together That's a, a lot of dust. for Rocket League's music season, season two. Starting tonight, you can get the featured anthem in the item shop and grab my free banner all weekend long. Let's check out the season two trailer featuring my brand new track that I made just you for sound you like guys. an idiot. I call it Flip Reset.
What do you mean season two? Cool. I mean, yeah. Is something gonna change about Skyrim? It wasn't there? Thirty days. What are you gonna do with thirty days? PC. Well, that's good to know, actually. That way I don't need to buy the game. Nice! You're gonna have the whole Yakuza series? Really? Just checked Pokemon Go on my phone and there's Wooper everywhere. Let's stop with the Pokemon Go. Another Wooper watch. I'm sorry, Dingo, Sydney. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to do this. In balloons and at Poke Stops, and you can save Shadow Wooper from their villainous clutches. Make Wooper your buddy, take photos of it with Go Snapshot, and battle with it in Go Battle League. If you're enjoying Wooper Watch, you'll love Pokemon Go's December Community Day, happening this weekend. And be sure to check Twitter after the show to see how many Wooper have been caught globally during Wooper Watch. Whoop, whoop. Sorry, Sydney. Give me something new. No, I don't care about this. What's the game? This is a trailer. What's the game? Is this new? I mean, it looks good for a mobile game, but... Dude... Benelux. Okay. That's okay. The scribe of Avalon. Okay. Yeah. 
and now Sephiroth, right? Min Min, oh, oh Min Min was season two as well. And now Sephiroth. Oh, they, they didn't have that ready. Okay. The Game Awards is back. We've got a lot of great show. Keanu Reeves still to come, Christopher Nolan, and so much more. And of course, we've got the Game Awards sale happening on all the platforms, including an awesome more discount trailers, on please. Destiny 2. So uh, make sure to check that out across all platforms. All right, for the next 30 minutes on Twitch, you can get a free Cosmic Wrap for Fortnite. There is a Twitch drop happening right now. So check that out too. This next game was announced last year right here at the Game Awards, developed by Airship and supported by Riot Forge. Okay. And now they're back to give you a first look at the gameplay from this Please. indie title, the first ever single player console game from the League of Legends universe. This is Ruin Finally. King, a League of Legends story. Better be fucking good. How, what kind of game is it though? Cutthroats. Spirits. Monsters. When you live in Bilgewater, you see some things. Oh, interesting. Let's start the party. The Wait, queen is it's an of RPG? Bilgewater, looking to bring order to this twisted town. And stay down. Oh, with, with actual the great okay. Unmoved. They use the same characters. So that's this interesting. Is the legend whose strength is only eclipsed by his kindness. Feel better now. The terror from the deep who preys upon the living. You won't feel a thing ever again. The dishonored nice. swordsman flees. Yasuo, really? It is Yasuo, right? I don't know. I don't remember and a the character. Oh, cool. the essence of her victims. Of course, Ari's there. Delicious. I see no fortune for those standing in their way. <laughs> Can't match my blade. Can't help but wonder what brought them together. Nothing good, I reckon. Cool. Cool. Seriously cool. Do more of that. I can't guarantee I'll play it, but please do more. All right, Rune King available on console and PC in 2021. On console now as well. to present cool. our next award, a man who absolutely needs no introduction. Please welcome Keanu Reeves. Keanu? Is he there? Jeff. No. Hey. Uh, greetings, everyone. I'm honored to be here to present the Game Award for Best Game Direction. Interesting. This category Short hair recognizes again. the studio that demonstrated superior creative vision, setting an even higher bar for the entire gaming industry. Mm -hmm. Over the past months, I've come to really appreciate all the fantastic creativity that goes into making a video game. A special shout out to the folks and team at CD Projekt Red in Poland. I had an amazing experience playing Johnny Silverhand in Cyberpunk 2077. Thank you. And now, here are the nominees for Such Best Game goof. Direction. Such Best a Game goof. Direction. This is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. What we're doing here could change things forever. Uh-huh. I am a samurai. You are the ghost. You'll have a better home where you belong, here on Olympus. I know you wish things were different, but they ain't. And the Game Award goes to... The Last of Us, Part 2. Are you serious? Congratulations. That's fucking amazing. Yay, more harassment. Man, uh, thank you, Keanu. That's a surreal thing to say. Uh... Shout out to our game directors, Kurt Marganow and Anthony Newman. Wish we could be doing this together, guys. Man, what a year. Oh, um, this is going to be an it's issue. It's an honor to be in this category with such incredible games. Um, direction is nothing without a team to internalize it, make it their own, and turn it into a game. And we're privileged to have such an amazing team, cast, outsourcing partners, our partners at Sony, every single person at 
worked on, touched this game, helped shape it. And a big thanks to my former boss, now partner, Evan Wells. You guided us through thick and thin uh, while we made this game. Uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. Thank you to the Game Awards and to all our fans. Cheers. Nice. Congratulations, Neil. All right, we've still got one last award to present the big one, Game of the Year, presented by Christopher Nolan. And we'll also really? have a tribute to all the nominees performed by the London Philharmonic Orchestra back Worthy at Abbey big Road announcements, Studios. Worthy big announcements, though. Uh, Game of the Year is coming up next. But right now, GTA Online continues to evolve. And next week, they've got their biggest update Oh, yet. boy. Check this out. Oh, boy. Is this the right place for the party? Can we post? Is there a hashtag? We're all here because of one man. You're not on the mainland now, huh? Anything goes! <laughs> I've seen him going in like a trout, chasing some supermodel down the beach on a panther, mate. I didn't understand a word of that. Lots of guards, high tech security. I need someone to rob it. You're obviously going to need a submarine. Let's try and come out of this with all of our ears and a bit of suntan. Only for only for PS4. Weird. Ah. Lucy Adam was born about 9,000 years before our time. In the year 515, after having federated the African continent, she set out to conquer Rome. It was on witnessing the consequences of this terrible battle that she decided to impose upon her people a strictly a vegetarian diet. And it's in 1082, following the unexplained death of the king, that she was crowned Empress Wait, of Spain. Is this... It's in fact to celebrate this event what is this? that uh, rock and roll was invented. What is this? 1789, allied with the valiant Japanese, she discovered the real Indies, oh, which has is... fallen into the hands of the bloody French. What is this going was on here? By the Great Devastation, a 100-year war that Lucy Adam ended before beginning the Great Reconstruction and establishing a lasting peace this is by funny. banishing all forms of currency and violence, as well as the use of selfie sticks in museums. Lucy, are you with us? Okay, so for next week, don't forget your essay on the cultural stereotypes of the Great Civilization. Oh, okay. How far will you push humankind? That's funny. It's a good trailer. Amplitude again. Jesus. We've been having fun with Instagram's Game of the Year AR effects. Here are a couple more. Those effects Sydney. are still available, so keep posting to your Instagram reels. And coming up, Come we'll on, find Sydney. out who's getting a real-life Game Award trophy for Game of the Year. It's not your fault. We... Oh boy. Respawn. Respawn? What's Respawn doing? Well, shit. How bad have things gotten? The German occupation has turned every neighbor into a possible enemy. Oh, okay. We need more resistance members, but that's much easier said than done. Drop your weapon. Make any move and we shoot. Please tell me you brought bazookas. Boom. Cool. Okay. That's a piece of shrapnel. We had to report for the draft. It was something we had to do. Connaissez deux personnes, c'est une de trop. You want to hear the rest of the story? Well, that's interesting. Your story, then. That's cool. We all know it's going to be a tough job ahead. 
Nice. Very. That, that, that seems really cool. But again, no. No big. Uh, you know, big game. Uh, there, there are a lot of games coming out in 20, 2021. No trailers. Welcome back to the Game Awards. I'm so excited about that Medal of Honor from Respawn in VR. Surprise, it's out right now. What an incredible trailer and game. I can't wait sure. to play that, hopefully this weekend. All right. Uh, when the show ends, the games continue with the Game Awards Festival. You can play upcoming games and stream them on GeForce Now, which means no downloads on PC, Mac, or, or phones. Uh, make sure to check it out. Uh, we got playable games available all through the weekend. All right, we've got one last world premiere to share with you. One last? Let's check one. this out. Better be fucking good. We know now that in the early years of the what 20th the fuck century, even is this? this world was being watched. Roger, copy. Eagle, Houston, you're a go for landing, over. Sure, station. Unknown vessel approaching. Is this Halo? Is this? Oh, Mass Effect! What the fuck? Is this a new Mass Effect? Okay, it's, it's Mass Effect, but what is it? It is Mass Effect though, is it? Isn't it? Don't bring Shepard back though. Mass Effect 5? Oh, okay. Fuck you! That's nothing! It's a nothing trailer. Mass Effect. I can't wait to see where Bioware is going to take that uh, next. Um, very exciting. All right. Well, to present not our take final it anywhere. award, this man has created some of the most iconic films of all time, some of which screened this summer in Fortnite. And on December 20th, I'll be sitting down for a conversation with him on YouTube to talk about the home release of Tenet and his illustrious career. And if you've got questions for him, which I'm sure you do, send them our way using the hashtag AskNolan really on Twitter. But right now, without further ado, to present Game of the Year, it's my honor to introduce Christopher Nolan. Hey, Chris. Thank you, Jeff. It's an honor to be part of the Game Awards. Uh, for me, I've always been interested in telling stories that, that immerse the audience. Uh, I like movies that, that unfold in unexpected ways and, and pull people into a world. Uh, when I look at video games, I see a lot of parallels with that kind of storytelling. Uh, how a player's agency and choice intersect with more traditional storytelling methods. It's uh, exciting to see and really quite groundbreaking. Tonight, all six nominees for Game of the Year are true masterworks in immersive storytelling. To pay tribute to them, please welcome from Abbey Road Studios, the London Philharmonic Orchestra, conducted by my old friend, Lorne Balfi. Okay. Use more themes.
That's a really good theme. Transition to next theme. joyful. That theme is just joyful. Sounds like an Alan Silvestri um, piece. Well, that sounded fantastic. And now, the Game of the Year award goes to The Last of Us Part 2. Holy shit. Neil. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna suffer. Uh, again, a uh, big congrats to all the other games we're nominated with. Um, everyone at Naughty Dog. I, I can't wait to hug and high five and get drunk with each one of you. Uh, that's going to have to wait till next year. Um, I want to just thank every person that worked on this ambition game and within Naughty Dog and outside. Uh, shout out to our um, Sony partners again, Scott Rohde, Connie Booth, Herman, Hulst, Sean Layden, Jim Ryan, your support and trust in us means the world. Mm -hmm. um, and more than anything, and I know that I speak for the whole team when I say this, We'd like to thank our friends and family that stood by us and supported us throughout uh, us making this game. You inspire us not only to make better, more meaningful games, yep. um, but to improve how we make games. On behalf of everyone at Naughty Dog, thank you. Congratulations to Naughty Dog, Game of the Year for The Last of Us Part Two, and congratulations to all our winners and all the nominees around the world. Thank you for joining us Dude. virtually, and next year hopefully we will all be the, back. The trailers are, are in person, but in the meantime okay. there'll be plenty of games to play. Since the announcement of, of, of also the Xbox, to Pluful, I mean, who is voted was a good by the fans year, as their favorite emerging Valorant streamer. Let's all go raid her stream right now on Twitch. There's also the Twitch Gaming post show that's coming up right now Holy shit. at slash Twitch Gaming. I'll be joining them to chat about the all the things you like, didn't like in tonight's show. It's been a very unique year, but one thing that never changes is our passion for gaming and the games we love. Thanks to our Game Awards team and all the incredible developers and publishers around the world who made this show possible under very trying circumstances. I can't believe we did it. Take care, stay safe, happy holidays, and be well. I'm Jim yep. Keeley. Good night. We'll see you next year. Cool.